dropped acid before this, and um, <laughs> I'm still trying to find it. And it, I, uh, people offer me acid, or I'm like, I'm already tripping. <laughs> you don't bring paprika to Sandeep's Curry Hut. <laughs> it's spicy enough. Like it, man, we glorify serial killers now. Eh? There's no segues here. <laughs> you know? Like, remember Ted Bundy? They got Zac Efron to play him. That's not right. Serial killing's the only crime where you get a glow up. When I got caught stealing a yabby pump from Aldi, they just released the CCTV footage. They didn't hire Chris Hemsworth to reenact it. <laughs> And now they go into the origin story of these sick puppies. You know, they go right back on the backstory. They're like, yeah, he had a weird relationship with a frog when he was six. <laughs> so you start empathising with them. You're like, yeah, I get it, brother. <laughs> if I had a weird relationship with a frog when I was six, I'd also store my co-worker's torso in a barrel of acid and dissolve it. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer's got a better chance of redemption than Ellen DeGeneres. That's the problem with Ellen, she didn't go far enough. <laughs> she stopped her bullying, she should have cut him up into tiny pieces. <laughs> then people would visit her in prison and watch her dance through the plexiglass, just <laughs> with the sticker skewered heads swiveling around like a kebab spit. That's Ellen, my Ellen, baby, I love you. You're a monster, you're my monster. Voldemort's got a better chance of a comeback than the woman who created him. <laughs> She who must not be named. Because I think it's better to dismember than misgender. You can't microdose evil, you've got a double drop. If you make a faux pas at a party, just eat everyone there. Because then they'll make a documentary about it. They'll be like, he was, he was hangry. I don't know what noise that was, but I feel like a farmer whose animals are turning against him. But. Remember that movie? <laughs> but you know President Zelensky? I love this guy. I'd love to have a fling with Zeleng. Because of the way he looks. My friends call me Finocchio because the more I lie about being gay, the harder my dick gets. I'm like, I like pussy, boy. <laughs> That was as hard to do as it was to listen to. I... <laughs> That's a free trade agreement. <laughs> but he's at peak hero, Zelensky. Like, it can only go down from there. One mistake. You know, when you're at peak hero, like, he'll be rude to a waiter. S someone will film it, it'll be like, bye bye, Zelensky, bye now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Putin will get diagnosed with ADHD. And we'll be like, That's why he did it, I guess. <laughs> One of the symptoms is an ex in Crimea now. With... <laughs> He'll release a book, Mein Kampf, My Struggle with Focus. <laughs> How I Conquered the Ukraine and My ADHD. It'll be a... I'm still trying to work out who the coward is in the coward punch thing. Because on the one hand, you've got a guy who's willing to risk it all. His reputation, a prison sentence, a job at Nando's, probably. <laughs> All just to hit a stranger for absolutely no reason. And on the other hand, you've got a guy who dies from one punch. <laughs> what a pussy. You know, like... <laughs> Who's the coward in this situation? The guy who achieved what Mike Tyson couldn't? <laughs> or Humpty Dumpty head slumped on the sidewalk like a rag doll? I prefer when it was called a king hit, because it takes a king of a bloke to down another with one foul swoop. More like the brave cunt special punch, but yeah, I, I don't work in marketing, you're a consultant, let's make it happen. Yeah, that's the end of the show, and um, it's actually finished. No, it technically is finished. Um, Uh, 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 uh.
uh, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Old white guys are rarely on the fence when it comes to Asian people. Have you noticed that? They either hate them or they're married to one. But there's benefits. They don't have to meet each other's parents. He's died in the 18th century and he killed hers in the Vietnamese War. So that's... But yeah, if you could clap so I could leave. And um... 